Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another game on MMX File CCG. Uh, we have an early morning game, at least for me and, uh, and uh, David this morning. Uh, it's 8 a.m. over here on the West Coast and a beautiful 4 p.m. over where Alistair's at. Uh, which country are you in again? I, I, I forget. Over in Scotland, yeah. Scotland. Nice, nice, rare, sunny afternoon in Scotland today. Beautiful. We're enjoying coffee. You're enjoying Guinness. Uh, <laughs> I wish. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we got to another tournament game now. I believe, uh, David, this is your first tournament game, right? This is my first, yep. All righty, man. Well, we already got some people with uh, records. We already got uh, uh, Jonathan Haggy. He's already 3-0. and so, Yeah, well, uh, he's... Uh... He's kind of sweeping this whole thing, isn't he? I know, man. He's setting he's setting that bar uh, bar a little high. Um, and then you know, last night we had uh, Kurt and Chris play, and that that game was just so fast paced. We were trying to keep up with it. They they just because they were there in person, man. They were just going at it. Stephen caught some stuff that I missed. I caught some stuff that Stephen missed, and you know, like it just it went so darn fast. But uh, it was fun to watch, man. Those those two, whew, they just go at it. It's hilarious to watch. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, we'll let, uh, you guys get to it this morning and, uh, see who comes up with the win. My brain's not working. It's 8 a.m. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's <Max> Wiles, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll bring your tables in and let you guys get to it. Thanks, Mike. <clears throat> okay, I, I, I can, can slouch, slouch now, now since, since I don't need to, to uh, Focus on the shirt there. I can sit back yeah. a little bit. It's I love so um, it. It almost feels like a, a team shirt, right? You and John are both rocking the um, the most wanted shirts at the moment. Well, you know, uh, someone, someone has, has to speak truth to power. So, uh, you know, me and Jonathan <laughs> are, are doing our best. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure as always, David. We've we've had a chance to play many times in the past on like so a lot of my games are first time playing with people I've not played before, but um, awesome to, to get another game in with you. And I'm really looking forward to to seeing what you've brought to the tournament. So uh, pleasure, pleasure to be your first opponent. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, I'm humbled. Uh, yeah, I, I was on vacation. I, you know, Dave uh, Meyer holds the uh, he holds the crown for uh, procrastination, but uh, I'm a, I'm a close second. So I was scrambling at the last minute to. Uh, I'm sorry, this is not working very well. Um, I'm sorry, I was on vacations and I had my laptop, but I was doing my best to put something together without cards in front of me uh, using Yoast site, uh, which is incredible, by the way. I, uh, that's a big help. But uh, anyway, I, I kind of threw it together by memory because I had to I had to meet that deadline. Uh, so yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I'm curious to see what's what's come together. I know I know exactly what you mean. The the website is a great resource that that you just made, but I must admit that I I find it much easier with just piles of binders all around me and cards being pulled out and flung everywhere. I I guess I'm a tactile deck builder and I like to to have things in hand. So um, well done on on getting a deck together using just the the site because um, that would that would be I think that would be a challenge for me kind of visualizing it and putting it all together. So um, talking of which, um, I have all my agents face up because uh, I've already played one one game in the tournament, so there's no surprises coming here for anyone. But do you want to um, tell us about your team, David? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's uh, put my smokes aside here. <laughs> I have, uh, well, let me start here. This is my uh, top agent, Agent Dana Scully. I am having a serious problem with echo. You're not hearing anything, though, are you? Um, I, I was at first. I see that you, you've muted uh, one one screen, and that's helped for me. I, I can't hear any echo for you now. Are you hearing echo on your end or mine here, David? Yeah, it's it's a setup problem on my end. Okay. So if if uh, you and the viewing audience aren't hearing it, then I think we'll be okay. All good. Uh, so first. Uh, 
Agent Dana Scully is leading the team here. And then we have Agent Janice, trained medic. Don't see him too often. Uh, Albert Holstein and rounded out Clyde Bruckman. Nice. I love the mixture of some some classic cuts there and a couple that we don't see as often. I think they'll be exciting to play. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to the first opportunity to tweak my deck. So we'll, I'm just going to okay. ride out these, <laughs> these three exhibition games. Um, hopefully things will work. Quite out. right. That's what they're that's what they're here for. And they, I, I must. Have, I had a very very tough game against uh, John. I went out in three ter uh, rounds turns of game gameplay. Um, and uh, oh, that's an interesting fact from Mike in the corner. Holstein's the most used agent in the entire tournament. So, yeah. But yeah, we're we're both. I suppose uh, you know represented by the fact we're both running in here this afternoon. Hey, Stephen, thanks. Thank you so much for dropping in and saying hello. Stephen, thank you. I'll catch you later in the week. We've got a Thursday game coming up with, with Stephen then. I wonder, as just for my benefit and the viewing audience, what are your agents? I see Krychek. Yeah, of course. Yeah, let, let me let me give a rundown. So I've got um, Agent Krychek is my most expensive agent. Uh, I've got uh, Albert Hosting. Agent Mobox, Charles Burke, and Agent Kresge as well. I thought I thought we might see a few more Kreskys in the tournament. I don't think there's as many as I had guessed there might be running around. So people working out how to maximize the points and not have that little one left over at the end for Kresge. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if Kresge pays off for you. He's, he's, he's not done great so far, David, so we'll, we'll see what this afternoon holds. Um, okay, are you, uh, are you good, to, good to start? Yeah, let me grab my deck out of my uh, thing here. I do need to shuffle really quick so if we can think of any great, uh, any great uh, small talk. No worries, yeah. Um, do, do you, I, I tell you what, do you want to call odds or evens and I'll do a dice roll for us for choice on investigating? Sure, I'll go even. And it is even. Would you like to take investigating or conspiracy player? That's a good question. I am going to start as conspiracy. Okay, nice. Yeah, sometimes it's good to get the um, get the reactive game going early and uh, get the the opportunity to scope out your opponent's investigating plans and. Um, especially if you've got some of those sweet, like low cost conspiracy cards, you're trying to run them into trouble early and, uh, and, and get them on the back foot right from the off. So, um, which, <laughs> which, uh, which John was very successful in doing against me in our game. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's got good. a very, uh, assertive deck. Yeah. But a lot of good disruptive, uh, potential, um, really cool to see some cards that we don't often see as well. And he's playing some interesting evidence cards and. Um, sorry, equipment cards in um, in the game that I played against him. Um, yeah, yeah, being a bit, being, being an interesting watch. I'll, I'll be really interested to see if he makes any changes for the next round because when you've got a three and zero record, sometimes it's harder to make that decision than when you've got a you know a, a more balanced record or a losing record or whatever. You feel like you've got less to lose. You can just go ham on being creative and trying to fix things up and make, make adjustments. But when you're winning, the pressure's on to, to stay in that top spot, right? So best of luck to John when he decides to just keep it exactly as is after that 3-0 run or or decides that he needs to mix it up because people will be, you know, they'll have seen, seen, seen a lot of it and, and realize that he's a, a, a real threat in the tournament and try and adjust accordingly. Yeah, well, uh, any astute competitor has been watching him and They'll know his tricks, and they they get to tweak their deck too. Um, Absolutely, so, yeah. I I think it would be in his best interest to change something, but uh, I'll leave that to to Jonathan. He's he's doing good without any advice from this guy. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't need help from any of us. That's for that's for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well. Also, I'm I'm um, I'm all ready to go here. I've got my my X files out. I've got counters on my agents that need them. Deck shuffled and ready as well. 
um, and we've both got our our res and conspiracy counters in view and um, set to five. So um, yeah, if, if you're good, David, I'll go ahead and can draw opening hands. Uh, yeah, just to confirm, this is my hidden X file right here. Awesome, and we should say as well that um, thanks to to Mike and Stephen for um, getting us uh, set up with with now. Uh, I think there was a snafu earlier in the week somewhere with X files and their identities. So I, I've uh, I'm sure Davis did the same. We've, we've both sent our X files identity over to Mike before the game begins. So we're we're nice and locked in, and uh, there'll be no no uh, confusion over what we've both uh, both got face down. So um, awesome. Shall we should we go ahead and draw seven, David? Let's do it. So um, I was chatting with you a bit off stream about Star Wars Unlimited, right, David? Yeah, uh, I'm a little hesitant. To, I I like I love Star Wars. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I am old enough. I'll I'll just throw it out there. I'm old enough to have seen the original in the theater when it was nice. first released. Uh, so I'm a long time fan. Uh, my my big my big problem uh, switching between games is that that has an opening hand of six cards. And so going between it and X files, I'm constantly saying to myself, okay, this is the one where I draw seven, this is the one where I draw six. So um, right. yeah, my service. But um, right, I've drawn drawn my opening seven here. Um and so if you are you good for me to start my investigating? Yes, here? sir. I've got my seven right here. Brilliant. Okay. I will start by drawing my free card. Oh, just notice that I don't have my little I always keep the uh the 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 small red rule book with its turn order to hand here just to keep me right. So, okay, I'll draw oh, my yeah. card. I usually Create do that too, so uh, hopefully you'll keep me honest. Yeah. It's, it's, it's um, no matter how many times I play the game, there's always things getting forgotten and whatnot, so I'll always keep it to hand. Um, so I get two two res from Crycheck, one from Hosting, one from Box, one from Burke. Um, I'm not going to use Crycheck's ability at this stage, so all five will go into my resource pool. Take me to 10. Um, and I am going to buy four cards, which will drop you to six. So that's four cards to hand. And um, I will pass to you for uh, selling for conspiracy and buying for conspiracy. Okay. First thing I'm going to do. is play Rejuvenating Caves. A classic. Indeed. Uh, play this card next to your the, the X file you've chosen. Place 10 tokens on this card. Beginning on your opponent's next turn, you may take up to two from this card and place it in your conspiracy pool. Good. And 10, I'll pay two. Now, as far as selling. I'm going to hate myself in the morning, but <laughs> I'll sell Frohickey for three. Okay. And uh, I am not purchasing it. Interesting. Okay. Um, so uh, before we move any further, I'm going to play a hard evidence. So this is uh, two cost, add five tokens to your res pool. Um, any response from you, David, before I do that? No, sir. All good. Um, so I will net three from that. So that puts me up to nine. Um, and uh, I am going to think about whether there's any. No, OK. So uh, healing, no healing to do. Uh, requisition, I don't have any equipment to hand out here. Uh, deployment, I will send everyone out to the field. I'll push everyone up to indicate that. Um, and 
case assignment, um, or in fact, uh, quickly before case assignment, I'm going to play reading the science for zero. <clears throat> this is a, a zero cost event, play on any team in the field. If the team makes an occult investigation of four plus skill check, they may take two conspiracy from their opponent's conspiracy pool and add them to their resource pool. Um, do you have a response at all, David? Oh, I've got a response, but uh, nothing I'm going to say on camera. N not in cardboard form. Uh, <laughs> uh, so um, I will add two, uh, and uh, David will subtract two. Down to four. Um, Okay, for case assignment, um, I am going to use Mobox's token to pay one for an alien investigation uh, keyword card. And that card is going to be the Dead Horse Alaska site. Uh, so this is alien investigation five plus or evidence collection five plus. You may ask one affiliation question or one result question. If you ask if the result is manipulation of evidence, the skill check prerequisite is four plus. Um, and I'm also going to uh, also going to pay two, going down to nine, to play Virgil in Canto's apartment, Cleveland, Ohio. This is computer four plus. You may ask one affiliation question, um, and I will pass over to you, David, for if you wish to play any bluffs on those. Strong team on your side. I'll play this bluff to dead. I'm sorry, what was the second one again? Um, the second one was Virgil and Cantor's apartment. That's the Computer 4 Plus affiliation question. Uh, and you've also got Dead Horse, which is Alien 5 Plus Evidence 5 Plus affiliation or result question. All right, let's play this one. Uh, not Dead Horse, but your second one there. Sure, okay, I will put a, put a dice next to us to remind us that that's the one with the bluff on it. Uh, just the one bluff there, David? Yeah, he threw a bit of okay. a monkey wrench in my uh, plan there. Okay. With, uh, taking, uh, my, taking my conspiracy points. Okay. Um, so uh, I will split the team up. Uh, so we have Mobox, Hosting, and Crycheck heading to Dead Horse Alaska and Burke and Kresge heading to Virgil and Canto's apartment. Um, and I will start my investigations for the turn at Virgil and Canto's apartment, give you an opportunity to pay for this bluff here. Definitely. Oh. Well, you just have the two Burke and Kresge. Just the two there, yeah. Then uh, I will reveal car troubles. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah, not yeah. going to pay for it or use it since that only works on a team of three or more. Sure. And and is there are there any further cards you'd like to play into this investigation? Um, in light of that. Why not? Let's play laser barrier for two. Oh, yes. Um, I think this means that I'm going to have to try and do some work to get past this laser barrier, because I presume it's, it's hoping to stop Charles Burke from contributing here. Um, uh, you would be correct, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pay five. One, two, three, four, five and play a hack into government files, uh, play on a team to make a computer four plus skill check. If successfully may select any card in your collection, add it to your hand. Um, and we're, we're playing this card for this tournament that it can search discard pile or, or bureau deck, I, I think I'm right in saying. Um, mm -hmm. So I will be, uh, my 
hope is to use this to search my bureau deck. Um, do you have a response though, David? No. Okay, uh, right, so I paid my five. I will go and find a card from the deck. Uh, and I, I will play it and, and pay for it straight away. Uh, pay two for, for a Langley there. Very good. Um, am I clear for a question? I have nothing to stop your investigation. Okay. Um, is your affiliation primordial? It is not. Okay. Um, and I'll move my investigation over to Dead Horse Alaska. Anything you want to throw down there, David? Unfortunately, I have nothing to stop your investigation there. Okay, so I'm going to go for an affiliation question here as well. Um, and ask, is your affiliation government? It is not government. Okay. I'll send that to discard. And uh, moving to debriefing, I have uh, exactly seven cards in hand, so just save from discarding. Okay, and I only have three so in the discard. Cool. And with that, I will pass you for your investigating turn. All right, I'll begin my investigation, drawing a free card. There you go. Generating res, I get two from Scully, one from Janice, one from Bruckman, and one from Hosteen, so five. I'll take me up 10 and I'm going to draw, or uh, excuse me, I'm going to buy. And I'll turn to you to sell and buy. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, um, I do have some selling to do. I was just having a quick look over what what my best options were here for what's in my hand and what I might I might sell. And I think this is this is how I'm going to do it. Um, selling a shotgun for six. And um, both my copies of uh, Arecibo, Puerto Rico, for one apiece. So that's eight conspiracy in total there. So up to 13. Um, can I check how many cards do you have in your hand at the moment, David? No, you may not. Of course, it's eight. <laughs> eight, sure. Um, I will... Buy. I'm just going to buy a single card, so one of my um, resources here, um, and uh, I'm then I'm then going to try and play a bluff. Um, I am going to try to play uh, limited choices on you. I have to pay for I have to pay for this bluff up front here, and um, I'm going to pay eight points for it which takes me all the way down to four. And it would cause you to discard your whole hand unless you have uh, something that can stop a bluff. So I will throw it back to you. Mm. Nope, you, you got me. Some great cards in this hand. So I, I discard, and how many do I draw? Seven? 
Uh, play this card to cause the investigating player to discard X number of cards from their hand. X equals the cost paid. So you just pay, you just discard eight and that's it. So I got nothing? You got nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a very mean card. <laughs> Let's uh, move on to the healing phase, shall we? <laughs> yeah, um, Mike Perrine there summing up my feelings in the comments section there. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, that sucked. Uh, no healing, no requisition. Uh, let's just skip right to debriefing. Uh, I don't have a discard. Four, four in hand for me, so also good to hear. All right, then I will turn to you to start your investigation. Okay, um, so uh, I start with my uh, draw. Um, and uh, before, before I do anything else, I'm just quickly going to run out friend in the FBI. Um, this is a two cost um, event card. I play this card in the bureau, place two to, uh, place 10 tokens on this card. During your briefing phase, you may take up to two tokens from this card, place them in your resource pool. When all the tokens have been removed, discard this card. Um, and I will do the usual of taking my two immediately so that it effectively pays for itself. Um, creating res, um, I will uh, not use Crycheck's ability. So the full five goes into my resource pool here. Taking me up to seven, um, and I will spend uh, three on cards here. Uh, so three to hand, um, and uh, David, I would I would pass to you to sell, but you're you're empty-handed from that um, uh, limited choices last turn, so. Um, is there anything that you want to do at this juncture, though? Yeah, I want to take two from my rejuvenated caves. So that puts me up to four. And then I'm going to buy. This is a rebuilding turn for me, so I'm going to we'll buy. You're killing me here, Alastair. Two. Let's see what happens. Refill that hand a bit, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, nothing from me, so back to you, sir. Cool. Um, so uh, no healing going on for me. Um, nothing to requisition out. Um, everyone staying in the field. Case assignment. Um, we use Mobox's token plus one. Um, to play an alien investigation site, this time coastal northwest Oregon. Um, alien investigation four plus and an affiliation question there. Um, and I'm also going to pay another two to play uh, Browning, Montana, um, occult investigation four plus uh, with a possible motive question on that. And I'll throw it over to you, David, for any bluffing that you want to do. <laughs> Go Oregon. And Montana. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to visit both those places. I'm very sad that they're on the other side of the world from me. I think Montana just looks beautiful from pictures we've seen. And Oregon. I have nothing. Okay, uh, I'm going to divide up my team a little bit here. Um, I am, I'm actually, I'm going to make use of Hosting's token here a second. And um, this is just, uh, so look at the hand and select a conspiracy card. If you play it, I get to ask a question. Okay, so I have Gibbs, Gibsonton, Florida site. And this is my one conspiracy, Private McAlpin zombie. 
Okay, so uh, Hostine will name um, a cow button for his uh, his trigger here. Um, okay. And that being said, I'm going to go ahead with doing a little bit of investigating here. So starting, at, I'll start at Coastal Northwest Oregon. Um, the guys have five alien investigation between them. Um, am I good to go for a question here, David? Indeed, sir. Um, David, is your affiliation evolutionary? It is. Oh, okay. And then moving on to Browning here. Um, am I good to go for a motive question? Yes, I just want to ask, uh, what is the uh, the prerequisite on that one? Uh, occult investigation four plus. Um, at the moment, I've got hosting chipping in four. Um, we've got Burke chipping in two, and nothing from Kraski. He's just there for a bit of backup in case anything goes wrong. Sure, sure. All right. Uh, no, I've got nothing to stop your investigation. Okay. Um, is your X-Files motive control? It is not. Okay. Um... And uh, that being done, good to go to debriefing. I have five cards in hand, so uh, save from having to discard. Um, you're on two, so good to throw it over to you for your investigating player's turn here, David. Well, before then, I'm just going to drop uh, Private McAlpin there. Sure. And yeah, uh, good to start my investigation. Go for it. Very good. I'll start with drawing a free card. Generating res as same as last turn, five. That'll take me up to yeah. 11. And I will buy five. Back down to six. All right, and I will turn to you to sell and buy for conspiracy. Okay, this is this is a sore one, but needs must. I'm going to discard a deep throat for five and a Miller's Grove for two, so seven conspiracy in total here. Going up to eleven, um, and. I will buy six cards. Okay, um, and back to you for the, the rest of your turn, David. All right, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is play hard evidence. Uh, add five tokens to your, cons uh, excuse me, uh, five tokens to your res pool. I am going to use two to pay for a soul net three. Good stuff, yeah. Moving on to healing. Uh, nobody is healing on this one. Deployment. I'm going to move everyone to the field. And at this time. I assume I can do this now. I'm sure someone will chime in, but uh, I'm going to use. I'm going to use Clyde Bruckman's token. Uh, place one token on this card. Remove one token to examine an opponent's hand and remove one of the cards in his hand from the game. 
Okay, so um, you've got a nasty surprise. This is the resource generating one. Um, rejuvenating caves. Um, and that's it for conspiracy cards. For um, res cards, uh, I've got an alien discretion, a frohickey, a hard evidence, Farmington, New Mexico, Miller's Grove, Massachusetts, a second Frohickey, and a Nurse Owens. Oh, I wish I had Hosteen on this one. So get your, <laughs> there's, there's still time. Still time. Your yeah. uh, Although I think he, he has to be conspiracy, right, doesn't he? Clyde yeah. Bruckman, place one. Uh, not, sorry, not story. Bruckman. And, uh, Brugman can get anything. Yeah, you're all good. There was the just, is the was conspiracy one. Uh, so let's remove from the game. Got a choice here. Let's remove a one of your fro hickeys, please. Sure, it's gone. Okay. Um, let's let's do it Vegas style. We're gonna go all in here. I'm gonna use hosting and put sure, that yeah. from Mickey. <laughs> um so the, the two conspiracy cards that he could choose from are rejuvenating oh, caves. That's right, or rejuvenating nasty. caves. Sorry, yeah. You got you got it. Yeah, so he's naming rejuvenating caves. Okay. See if we can keep your conspiracy pool to a manageable manageable level there. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go to Gibsonton, Florida. This is medical four plus, and you may ask one method question. It costs two, but I'm going to use Janice's token here. Let me read this real quick. Place one token on this card. This token uh, may be used to pay for any keyword medical or healing cards. So I'm going to pay for that site with his token since it's medical. Sure, yeah. Um, and I'll turn to you for any bluffs. I will place one bluff. All right. Pretty sure I know what that one is, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna send all I'm all in, baby. Okay, well, you're right to not be too worried because it is a, a simple and nasty surprise here. Um it would cost three, but it costs two because I placed it face down. It will let me add five tokens to my conspiracy pool, unless David has something in hand that he wants to play to negate it in some way. Uh, am I going to take these resources? Go. Okay. Uh, so, uh, sorry, yes, I had three, so I'm up to eight. And as you may have already suspected, I have nothing that I can do about this one, David, so you're good to go for a question. Okay, just uh, to be technical, and I should have done this before bluffs, but it is medical four. Uh, Dana Scully is contributing four, and uh, Janice. Or is medical three, so seven. Uh, so I make the prerequisite. Uh, method question, sir. Is your method manipulation? My method is not manipulation. Okay. I'm actually going to turn to your site. Love it.
All right, that having been done, I will put Gibsonton, Florida in the discard pile and we'll move to debriefing. I, I have five, but I am going to discard shutting down the X files. And I have seven exactly, so just just okay, so avoid a, a discard there. All right, then I will turn to you to start your investigation. Okay. Um, I will draw a card. And create some resources. I'm going to decline to use Crycheck's ability to contribute to the pool again. So all five going into my resource pool. And then two from friend in the FBI, which takes me to eight. Um, and just gonna, I'm going to quickly play a hard evidence as well just now, um, unless you uh, want to negate it in any way, David. No, sir. Go right ahead. OK, so I get three from that. Let's me to 11. Um, and I will draw three cards. One, two, three. One, two, three. And pass to you. All right. Uh, moving along. No healing, no requisition. Case assignment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'm the conspiracy player right now. Sorry, yeah, you're 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 in conspiracy <laughs> mode just now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I I just don't want to get skunked and not in, ask any question. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna sell genetics clinic for two. I'm also gonna use two from rejuvenating caves. Yeah. Takes me to six. Bye. David, um, I, I, uh, I I haven't seen anything yet, but just to warn you that your hand is drifting close enough to your table camera that um, I, I'm very, very close there. <laughs> uh, yeah. keep, 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 it, keep, it, keep it secret, keep it safe. Yeah. Are you looking at my cards? <laughs> okay, so where was I? I am at six CP. I'm going to buy three. And I'll turn back to you to continue your investigation. OK. Um, I'm just seeing a quick, quick bit of number crunching. Uh, okay. Um, so uh, I have no healing to do, nothing to requisition out. Um, everyone is staying in the field. Case assignment. Um, I'm going to use Mobox's token again to play Farmington, New Mexico. Um, this is Alien Investigation 5 Plus or Computer 5 Plus. You may ask one motive question or one method question. If the question is, is the method manipulation, the skill check prerequisite is 4 Plus. Um, I will not be tying myself into that question though, so it will be the full 5 Plus skill check here. Not a strong conspiracy hand. I have nothing to stop that in, or no bluffs. And I'll save you okay. some time. I don't have any yeah. adversaries either. So. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. Um, 
so yeah, okay. Um, so I have a couple of questions in motive already, so I think I'm gonna keep. Oh, actually, we'll go we'll go for um best bet here. I think it's a method question, actually. I'll go for a method question. Okay. Um, and ask, is your X Files method violence? It is not violence. Okay. I'm at three, and this is where I begin to swither on on taking chances with guesses. Um, Go for it. I'm so far behind. <laughs> I haven't even asked the question yet. Is your X-Files identity Eugene Victor Tombs? My X-Files identity is Eugene Victor Tombs. <laughs> Lucky, lucky guess. Well, you had a 33% chance, so you, you were looking good. Wow. <laughs> Dude, I think I think the defining moment of that game was uh, was that bluff card, man. Freaking holy crap. Lost. What did you have in your hand that you lost, David? What did I have? Was I, I had all the cards to do what I wanted. At, uh, local law enforcement are uncooperative, evidence destroyed, uh, captive hybrid, a couple of adversaries, deadly blur, and Manitou stalks its prey. And this site, I think, this uh, uh, medical site. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I've actually ever seen a limited choices work that, I for eight cards, man. That was that was nuts. Yeah, he he got me. I I felt like I was uh, in a good position there. Um, not quite everything that I would need to enact my master plan, but uh, I've I felt like I was on my way to take taking the lead on that. But uh, it well, was congratulations, not yeah, that, Alistair. That's great, so... great play with that card. Yeah, uh, yeah Mike's that's right. That's... That was that was definitely the turning point where uh, I just could not come back from it, and I didn't have quite enough time. Yeah, I am um, building the building the deck. I, I I really love my big big plays in this game in general, the big high cost kind of conspiracy cards, but. Um, I I didn't anticipate how, how I thought that card would be effective because I knew that if I was going to play at any point, I wanted to do it for the whole hand. That I was probably never running it out if I couldn't get the the entire hand uh, gone in the tournament. Um, but uh, I I I haven't played it before, and I was I don't think, and I was I was really surprised by how effective it, it was. I thought it would be good. I I kind of forgot that it. Kind of forgot that it goes on to impact your next turn as well, and that it's like a, that it was not just the one turn that it does that that kind of horrendous kind of um, clear the clue the slate for. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, no no complaints from me on on limited choice. <laughs> no, well, I've got a few complaints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my uh, conspiracy and RP pool were just. Uh, they were just too low for me to, to get a, a big hand back. Uh, ouch. Wow. Well, the great, great news. I did not I'll reveal a it. lot of my deck to my uh, uh, players coming up next week. So they, they might not have put together what my strategy is. But... Do you, you, you want to take a shot at uh, Alistair's uh, X-File? Oh, oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> hey, you had him down to 35. I've done it. Uh, is there X file alien abductors? It was reverse engineers. Oh, okay. Oh, my my table's gone. Reverse engineers. <laughs> nice. Who are you playing next week, David? Uh, I'm up against Chris. 
Oh, on Thursday. Yeah. He's on a roll. He's uh, oh, he's great. one and one now. So, did you say Chris or, or Kurt, David? Sorry, Chris. Oh, Chris. Chris. Oh, Chris. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, so gonna be, somebody's going to be over two there. at the end of that game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was I was going a glass half full. Somebody's going to get a win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to be one and one. <laughs> Very cool. Good yeah, again, uh, congratulations on that win. That was very well played. Uh, and I know, I know you're busy with important real life stuff. So th thank you even more for dropping in and spectating a little bit. But I appreciate that. Cool guys. Well, uh, great game, uh, man. It's 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 weird, isn't it? Like a lot of times, some of the games that we play, especially on Steven's channel, they'll take like up to two hours. We have yet to have a game in this tournament that takes, I think, honestly, barely more than an hour. These games have been very, very decisive, very, very quickly. So it's it's kind of interesting. It's I did not expect it. So it's kind of a strange um, trend, isn't it? Usually we're on for three hours or more. I know. And I. Well, I know a lot of us have sort of uh, families and work commitments and stuff, so it's always good to sit down to one of these having told the other half that it's going to be three or four hours and then actually have it over in a, an hour and a half or something. I know, right? Yeah. Well, if you've got something to keep you entertained in your room there, you could just pretend. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just more than your wife's like, hey, are you done in there? I don't hear talking. <laughs> yeah, we're just being really quiet. <laughs> oh, I was thinking you would uh, just go to one of the previous games and turn it on, and turn it on and turn up the volume, <laughs> so it sounds like someone's playing X Files. Well, gentlemen, great game. Uh, we'll see you for the next one. We got the game coming up tonight, uh, so tune in. That's going to be cool, um, and uh, plenty more games to go, man. We're uh, we're not even at the halfway point of the uh, preliminaries here. So, uh, again, thanks for being here and. Uh, We'll see you guys next time on Matt and Mike and Steven's X-Files CCG. Pew, pew, pew.